right. Nice one. Get ready to go. Good morning everyone. We're here in a very windy and cold World to Mill kart track. Um, last time I was here was last year. I'm here with my trainer, my manager, and of course Steve Alvarez Brown. Um, we're gonna have a bit of fun, have some races. Then me and Steve are gonna have a little 1v1 and uh, we're gonna see you know, who's the true champion. Um, but it's also just kind of getting back into karting before we start the F1 season. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, enjoy. Yeah, a little bit nervous. First session, it's gonna be cold out there, but we'll get up to speed. Be fine. Nice. So if you want to stick it on, then shouldn't have skewed my vision, you said. Yeah, well, you're not looking down, you're looking up. Yeah? I have to look through here to see where I'm going. <laughs> How bad is it? I'll let you know when I quite prepared because then you get a good exit here. But the main thing is just pushing on the braking zones, the big braking zones. Because then like this final corner you're good. So then you've got nothing to worry about. But the, the two big braking zones here into the top corner and here into the final boot are just the ones you've got to push a little later on. That's it, then you'll be like 46 is easy. Then I'll be an F1, right? Yeah, you'll be an F1 the break. If you think of too many things that's when it starts to yeah, get like, you just fuck up one thing wrong. You just focus on braking. There's always yeah. that. If you just brake later and then carry more minimum speed and get a better exit, you'll be alright. <laughs> <laughs> just do everything better. With this type of karting, I mean, you might think karting is just going out and just driving around and not really thinking about it, about it too much. But we looked at the data and Lando was saying, I'm braking a little bit too early in a lot of places. So you can actually see He's just fine. He's out for another session. I'm not out because of my bloody neck. It's really physical, really, really, really physical. And, um, but yeah, the telemetry was showing that I was breaking too early, basically. So Lando was saying, you break too early here, break too early there. And also, you know, once I start breaking properly, then the rest of the corner will be a lot better. But um, it's, as I said, really physical. So I'm struggling a little bit with the neck, so I need to do a lot of training and I uh, hope that I can improve on the physical, uh, physical element. More than me, probably. So the time has come. 1v1. Me versus Steve. I'm going to smoke him. It's going to be easy. But uh, let's see what he's got. Let's go. Oh, is that what he does? <laughs> we change places and then undo it. Yeah. Let's go. Wow, we are 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Side by side. Right, let's get some thumbnail photos. Go on like this. <laughs> With the quadrant finger. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she is a freaking pineapple, man. I know. <laughs> that is horrific. After Christmas, I was like, no. right, just half lap, half lap, just, just get it done. <laughs> I was just grimacing, holding my, uh, creating my teeth, just finish the race. With my racing, it feels too light, yes. but ACC feel like you like feel the curves when you hit curves and stuff. It yeah, feels more real. There's more weight. Yeah, exactly. The car, like, it feels nicer. Have you tried? Have you tried driving with VR? No. Oh, you have to. Yeah, I, I think that's for like eye racing. Um, driving with VR feels so much better. Yeah. Like you, in terms of driving. Trying to drive a car and having the feeling of driving a race car, just, it's just so the, much cooler. The immersion you get is just like, yeah. you know, you, you, know, you can move your head and you move it past the seat and you see the guy you're racing, yeah. you know, you move it and you, you can see like past the steering That's wheel. Because the problem with I racing, like someone's next to you and you have to drive differently than you would in real life. Yeah. It's like, yeah. still there, still there and you can't see them. So. All right. Right. Yeah, and it's, it's, you drive yeah, like this, you, know, you move your head forwards a little bit and you look right and you see the guy. Yeah. But in the middle of the corner, you can still see him. Well, you're checking your mirrors and it's also like depth perception as well. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. The depth perception is the biggest thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Like you're in the car, you know, you see your feet in the, the, the fake driver. And you know, you, like you see your legs are far away, you see the steering wheel close. Yeah. Yeah. It's really cool. I love it. I'm slower with it. It's more, it's more Just because like there's more movement and stuff so you can't be like as exact every lap but in terms of like feeling like you're driving a race car it's a lot cooler all right day over here in Wellington mill um last few photo shoots of our beautiful quadrant carts uh but it's been a pleasure me and steve going head to head um we had a lot of fun we had some good racing which i'm sure you saw and uh yeah i can't wait to do it again sometime so it's cool steve's got a few little things to work on um just to make them a little bit better but we had a lot of fun you know we're similar paced and uh yeah it was, was, was exciting and nice to be back in a car too so um hope you all enjoyed it and i'll see you soon